In this video, I will be teaching you how to solve for the midpoint of a straight line. So I'll just be going over the equation and how it's derived so that when you need to remember it, you'll be able to remember it. And this is probably revision for most of you. So if we have any points, A is x1, y1, and B is x2, y2, then the point or the equation for our midpoint is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. So to see how this is derived, let's say that we have a point a which is equal to 1, negative 1, and over here we have a point um, b which is equal to 4, 2. And we are asked to find the midpoint, so the point that's halfway between these two lines. Well, one thing that you might notice about the midpoint is that its x value will be halfway between the x values of our points a and b. So say, for example, since a runs between, since a and b are at 1 and 4 for the x values, then m will land halfway in between them. And its y value will also run halfway in between the y values of a and b. So the y values of a and b are 2 and negative 1. So m will be halfway in between them. So how do we find the point that's halfway in between? Well, that's very simple. What we need to do is we need to add the two values together and then divide them by 2. So to find the x value, we add our two x values together. So we get 4 plus 1, and then we divide them by 2. So from this, we get 5 over 2, which is equal to 2.5. And this right here is our x value. For our y values, we need to do the same thing. We just need to add them together and then divide them by 2. So we get 2 plus negative 1, and then we divide them by 2. So this gives us 1 over 2, which is equal to 0 0.5. And this gives us our y value. So if you were to say that a was the point x1, y1, and b is the point x2, y2, then we could rewrite our equation or we could write the value of our midpoint as, so our x value would be x1 plus x2 over 2, or the point halfway between the two x values, and our y value would be the point y1 plus y2 divided by 2, which is the point halfway between our two y values. And if you and this is the exact same equation that we got up here. So in my future videos, I will be going over more complex examples involving the midpoint of a line and the length of a line. 